Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. Now that the 2017 NFL season has sadly come to an end, it's never too early to start looking ahead on who will land the coveted or cursed depending on you ask, spot on the cover of Madden NFL 19. There's no shortage of tremendous players in the league worthy of consideration. Let's take a look at the top 10 players who just made grace the cover of Madden 19. <laughs> It's hard to argue with numbers and there are 137.5 million reasons why Jimmy Garoppolo should grace the cover of Madden 19 as he's become the highest paid player in the league thanks to a new contract he signed with San Fran. After languishing behind Tom Brady in New England, Garoppolo proved his worth by impressing in the five games he started after being traded by the Patriots. Granted, it's a relatively small sample size to already be anointing him as the best QB in the league so soon, but Madden might as well hop on the Garoppolo bandwagon early. Move over Gronk, it's time to pass the torch as the best tight in the league to Travis Kelsey. He has been a dynamic threat for the Chiefs since he entered the league in 2013, but he's gradually taken his game to another level, especially in the red zone. For Alex Smith, this year he was great, but next year he'll do even better with Patrick Mahomes behind center. He's also known for being quite the passionate and animated player on the field, which can just as easily lead to a music touchdown celebration as it can to unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. With the new player and team celebrations likely being in the game next year, Kelsey, who actually has enough rhythm to be invited to the cookout, will be a perfect fit for the cover. Wouldn't it be something to see Carson Wentz on the Madden 19 cover just a year after he was forced to watch from the sidelines as his backup Nick Foles led the Eagles to a Super Bowl championship? Though no one knows yet where Super Bowl MVP Foles will land, Wentz was a season MVP favorite himself with 33 touchdowns, 7 receptions before he went down towards the end of the year and the Eagles have now to be considered again the top team going into next year. Wentz would be great on the cover, should have got the MVP if he wasn't hurt, definitely want to see one of the top quarterbacks in the league on the cover next year. With all due respect to the GOAT Blake Bortles, it was largely the Jaguars defense and ground game that spearheaded their unlikely playoff run and a large effort part of that was from rookie running back Leonard Fournette. Despite being narrowly edged out by Alvin Kamara for rookie of the year honors, largely because of Kamara's superior work as a receiver, Fournette actually outgained Kamara on the ground. If he wants to go against the grain and opt for a promising offensive weapon who didn't take home any hardware, Fournette would stand to be the likely candidate. When looking ahead to next year's Madden and considering all the league's young stars who could potentially land on the cover, a good place to start is probably with Rookie of the Year. Alvin Kamara was electric out of the Saints backfield in 2017, both as a runner and receiver, turning screen passes from Drew Brees into long gains thanks to his elusiveness and his innate ability to break tackles. It also doesn't hurt he's got a great personality with the love for airheads and gold grills. Todd Gurley was one of the youngest, most exciting players in the NFL on one of the most exciting rosters in the NFL as the Rams. There are a number of players from the Rams alone who could find themselves on the cover of Madden 19, including quarterback Jared Goff and stud defensive lineman Aaron Donald. As good as Donald has been, it's hard to imagine an interior player or someone like an offensive lineman making the cover, but the smart money will be on workhorse running back Todd Gurley, who earned Offensive Player of the Year honors for his performance 2017, and my personally was on the MVP list as well. As Gurley helped led the Rams to an unlikely playoff berth under a rookie head coach, we'd we'll love to see Gurley on the cover as well. Now when it comes to trying to find a defensive player with a decent shot at making the cover of Madden 19, there aren't a lot of guys that fit the bill. Khalil Mack is definitely one of those guys. Elite defenders like J.J. Watt and Von Miller are getting a little bit long in the tooth by NFL standards, making them likely to get the nod in this coming year, especially with J.J. Watt coming off a major injury. Instead, let's look at EA to consider someone younger like Camille Mack, who has certainly shown flashes of potential thus far and has a great chance of development to the best defensive player in the game in 2018. Now, is it possible for the Madden curse to work retroactively? At the risk of putting such an electric talent on harm's way yet again, Deshaun Watson really earned his way onto the cover 
come back consideration by capturing Lightning in a bottle in seven games that he played during the 2017 campaign. Proving he can thrive at the Pro Bowl level in his first season, there may be no player with much potential or as much hype heading into 2018. Hoping the ACL tear that cut his season short hasn't significantly diminished any of his skills, Watson would be a great choice. I know Clemson fans would love to see their GOAT QB on the cover of Madden and a young Watson to show early on he's definitely a star. Cam, oh Cam. It may have been wiser to have Cam Newton on the cover of Madden a few years back during his MVP season, but hey, it's better late than never, right? As it stands, there's still only a few stars in the league with a higher profile than Newton with the swag and highlight reel to match. They can also debut a new press conference feature where you get player XP for fashion points at the podium. Just don't rock your grandma's church hat with no socks, all right? It's actually a little shocking that Antonio Brown hasn't already been on the cover yet at this point in his career. Establishing himself as arguably the most dominant receiver in the game over the last few seasons, the only possible explanation is that Odell Beckham was a flashier choice for Madden 16, and the Steelers have perennially been also rams at AFC next to the Patriots, who've got two covers in recent years, Brady and Gronk. There's also the distinct possibility that Powers and EA simply can't decide between Brown and his equally dominant Steelers team teammate Le'Veon Bell for the cover. With Bell having a chance of signing with a different team next year, it should clear the way for Boomin to make his Madden debut. Well, that's it for today. If there's anyone we missed that you feel could make the cover, let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you love it. It's the natural sports gamers online.com. I'm out. I was in the bando a long, long time. Need to get the lamb.